Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making a soap and I realized I'm really not prepared. Poured my lye water in and realized I didn't get my colors ready. Normally I do. Uh, so my daughter and I are trying to figure out what color we're going to do here. Hmm. Bear with me while we figure this out. We're just going to wing it here. This is a warm and fruity scent, and I am totally in love with it. My husband's going to look up the description for me because I did not. I never do. You think I'd learn by now? But what are you going to do? All right. So we're going to do most of the soap white, right? Yes. Should we do sparkle? Yeah. All right, get that out. Okay. Go ahead, shut the door. It's all right. Yeah. Is it stuck? There you go. So we're going to do most of it white. This is actually a white mica. And I love it. I don't have to worry about glycerin rivers or um, specks or anything like that. Fairy dust. Okay, there's that. Okay, okay we gotta figure out the colors now. Okay, it's only calling it fruity vanilla and musk. So the, the description is fruity vanilla and musk. It's on um, passionate kisses. I think it's a Victoria's Secret dupe. Is that right? Does it say? Well, it says. Yeah. Um, Passionate kisses. This is gonna have to be stick blended. So, all right, let's figure out the other colors. My daughter handed me three cups, so I assumed that meant we're doing three. Would you mind coming and standing and making sure I'm still in the video here? Yeah. I am with my camera angle. I put it on a table here next to me. And um, I can see that I'm without a shadow. And I raised it up, so I don't know. Let's see, what do you think? I'm tall and I need a step stool. Oh. Hi. What about like this and maybe a light one? And you said purple earlier? Yes. Do you like these two pinks? Hold on. Or do you want to do like this pink? That pink? Yeah, Should that we just pink. do three pinks and no purple? Well, yeah. Or do you want purple? I think we should do the three pinks and no purple? Yeah. All right. Three pinks it is. These are the three pinks you want? Yes. You sure? Yes. Positive? Yes. Because we're going to be committed here. Okay. All right. Last one. No going back, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Three pinks it is. Can you put these away from me, please? Am I in? Yep. some more white and we played with the camera position just a little bit you see yep
you think we should do with this one? Go have your sister let her out, please. Thank you. Needs to be stirred. So I was soaping away happily yesterday, and I was going to do these soaps yesterday, um, but I ended up with a pretty nasty lye burn inside my glove and so when I took off my glove my hand was really red and swollen um, you know every time I've gotten a lie burn it's been with a glove on go figure and speaking of gloves I had someone it amazes me how brave I'll say brave people are on YouTube when they can hide behind a computer and slander people. This wasn't bad for me, but uh, a fellow soaper had some really rude comments made to her um, the other day, and it just never ceases to amaze me. But somebody commented on my video how horrible it is that I don't use gloves. When I cut my soap is what I'm assuming she means, because, you know, I wear gloves. But how disgusting it is. And, you know, I thought about it. And it's like, you know, it's it's soap. I follow good manufacturing practices. I wash my hands. I sterilize all of my equipment and surfaces. You don't eat it. You go to a restaurant, they don't wear gloves when they make your food. So, you know, whatever. You can't make everybody happy. So... I love the delete feature. See the whole mold? No, I can see about 80% of it. There you go. Better? Yeah. Ugh, I'm gonna have to put it back because I don't like working at this angle. Well, I'll figure this out eventually. See the bucket. Well, when it was here. See just a little bit. But it's not blocking the mold. Oh no. Okay. Oh, That's nice. That's a good change. Okay, I'm gonna a little bit of white. And then I'm gonna start with the dark purple, which I have more of than I wanted. tell you there's nothing better than kids laughing and especially when they're little like that and they've just got the sweetest little laugh her newest thing now is I'll tell her to do something and she'll go okay mama and toddle away <laughs> for a second there I thought she was giggling because she locked her sister in the backyard oh didn't happen, though. Oh, yeah, that is true. She does like to laugh. I don't know if you heard that, but he said he thought she was laughing because she locked her sister in the backyard. We got a dog a few weeks ago, and her youngest has figured out how to lock the door when we're outside letting the dog out, <laughs> which is fun for her. 
So we've learned we need to take a house key with us when we go out back. Stand, we just stand right here on the patio and she just puts this little smile on and locks the door. Oh, it's warm in here. I always get really warm when I'm soaking. I don't know what it is. here next to me that I normally turn on, but I didn't today. And this is the last batch I'm going to do today. these colors? Yes. Are you happy with it? Yeah. I don't think we have ever done a soap quite like this before. I was going to glitter even if you said no. <laughs> okay, so there's Passionate Kisses. That's not the name, but there's soap. And don't go anywhere. I will attach the cutting video to the back of this. Okay. Here's Passionate Kisses. And holy cow, this smells so good. I think this might be my favorite scent of all time. And that's saying something because I don't ever pick a favorite. And you've I, made a lot of soap. I've made a lot of soap. I have a favorite of the day. <laughs> but this smells really, really good. It's kind of a fruit punch smell, kind of. But it's not overly sweet. But I'm a big fruit punch fan. So I think it's those little notes of fruit punch in there that I am thoroughly enjoying. And I like the colors. the three different pinks. I like that. They're just subtle enough that it just gives a slight, that one's really pretty. And I don't know if you can see, but I did put, I can't tell if you can see, the shimmer in the white, and it is in there, it is shimmery. I'm going to have to make a batch of this for myself. I always keep part of the inburrs for me. Sometimes I do giveaways with them. Um, sometimes I sell them in sample bags at my markets. Um, and I always keep some for myself to test. I test every batch. But I'm thinking a little sample piece just may not be enough for me this time. So this soap will be cured around September 15th, September 20th, actually, 2015, and will be available on my website at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching.